I want to talk to you about Shop Pay versus PayPal versus uh, Google Pay versus uh, Apple Pay versus Afterpay. So we are going to uh, compare and contrast Shop Pay to other payment methods. So here's a compar uh, the comparison I want you to really think about. Let me first define for you what uh, what Shop Pay really is. So we have a clear idea what we're speaking about. So Shopify developed a Shop Pay, a shopping cart software tool that enables uh, smooth transactions when used in conjunction with Shopify payments. And uh, when you think about ShopPay, I want you to think about a tool that actually uh, the Shopify itself refers to uh, as, a, as uh, an accelerated checkout platform because it's, it saves users the trouble of having to enter their personal information every time they make an, an online purchase. OK, so that's actually uh, the, the gist of it. And so so to protect the confidentiality of registered data and to prevent uh, information exploitation, Shopify ensures security for the merchants by achieving level one PCI compliant. And with, and that's really good. I mean, uh, this is actually, uh, when we think about level one PCI compliance, we're speaking about a world-renowned security standard used to safeguard payment methods such as credit cards and debit cards. And plus the transaction, plus for the transaction processing, ShopPay requires code authentication or Shop Passkey. And uh, what happens here is that this six digit code is provided via SMS or email to the user's registered phone number. So we are speaking here about what? Multi-factor authentication, two-factor authentication. And so Shop Passkey works as a verification for each payment made by the users or any login sign up process. And so this layer of security can help prevent auto charging, unintentional uh, payment, as well as hackers. So that's kind of cool. So when you think about uh, when you think about ShopPay, I want you to think about flexibility. I want you to think about speed. So ShopPay is basically a fast and flexible checkout service. There is no additional cost to use ShopPay in contrast to uh, many other complementary payment methods. However, in order to use ShopPay, you must select a Shopify pricing plan as this platform is exclusive to Shopify online retailers. So, so this is how they make money. You gotta really uh, be. Uh, you gotta, gotta become a, a customer. That way, you have everything. Everything else for free. So. So let's talk about how things actually work in reality here. So how does ShopPay work? So Shopify users must first determine whether they are they are eligible to use the ShopPay, which requires them to be either a Shopify merchant or a customer. That's what I said to you a little earlier, right? So as a Shopify merchant, you, you got a couple of things to do. So you can actually, uh, as a merchant, you can enable or disable ShopPay in the settings panel. So when you enable uh, ShopPay, customers can use it as a payment option. And uh, to set up ShopPay in Shopify store, you want to actually log into uh, Shopify. And what will happen here is that in the Shopify admin, you want to navigate and uh, select settings. And uh, within settings, you want to click on payments. So when you click on payments, everything will, will be pretty clear to you. The Shopify payment section, click on manage. So when when you actually choose manage, you will see. So as you can see on the screen here, you have Shopify payments. You have Visa, MasterCard, Amex, Discover, you know, and all the other player, the other, uh, the other payment processors. Okay. But remember that for Shopify payments, you have a credit card rate, 2.4% plus 30, uh, plus 30 cents. Okay. There is no transaction fee because uh, Shopify is already making money off of you uh, through uh, your subscription. Next, you want to scroll down and check the box next to uh, Shop Pay. As you can see on the screen here, do you see this on the screen? So you click on that Shop Pay. Next, you want to click on Save. So as a customer, things are pretty straightforward. When a customer actually checks out for the first time on a website that accepts Shop Pay, you'll have the option to choose a shop pay button and create a new account. So they have they have to create a new account. Otherwise, uh, the algorithm is not going to recognize uh, their uh, their cookies, if you will. OK, so basically, uh, if to register for a shop pay account as a customer, you want to sign up with a phone number and or email address. So uh, as a user, you will get a six digit a six digit code by text or email to verify your contact information. Going back to what I said about the multi-factor authentication that's what we have here so after verifying your contact information you will be required to enter a credit card number shipping address and other personal details 
And uh, once the sign up, you as a user can check out with uh, ShopPay on any other Shopify store that supports it by entering uh, your six digit code to verify identity. So that, that's really what it is and uh, no uh, need to provide personal information. Shopify just wants you to have uh, your six digit code. And as a customer, you can also change uh, your credit card information or opt out of uh, ShopPay by going to your ShopPay account settings. So this is pretty straightforward. So let's talk about the pros and cons of, of using ShopPay. So it's not really simple to uh, select a payment option for your online business. Therefore, you gotta really weigh the advantages and disadvantages of uh, various options carefully before finalizing your decision. Because the last thing you want is to actually uh, be stuck with uh, with uh, with a partner that you don't want, right? I mean, if, if, if for instance, the shop is playing games and they don't have uh, terms and conditions that are really good for you, you want to have the flexibility to change your, your partner. So let's talk about the pros and cons of uh, using Shopee. So you have a clear idea what what your next move should be. I mean, don't don't make any uh, any quick move anyway. So I want to first talk to you about the uh, the advantages of uh, Shopee. So Shopee improves conversion rates and encourages repeat businesses with quick and uh, straightforward uh, checkout processes. So that's really good. Shopee store stores actually your details and fills them fills them in automatically so you can check out faster and easier. No more typing in long card numbers or addresses every time you shop. And Shopee is proven to increase mobile conversions by nearly 1.9x to 2.5x, reducing in the meantime checkout time and card and card abandonment. And Shopee encrypts your payment information and keeps it safe on Shopify's PCI compliant servers. You don't have to worry about data breaches or fraud, whether you are buying or selling online. So you have the flexibility there. So we love that a lot. And ShopPay offers a buy now, pay later BNPL option, allowing customers to pay for larger purchases and installments without any hidden fees or charges. So that's kind of cool. We love that a lot. And the system supports numerous languages, even though some ShopPay capabilities such as BNPL are right now limited to the US. So Chinese, Czech, Danish, Dutch, English, Finnish, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Norwegian, Polish, Portuguese, Spanish, Swedish, Thai, Turkish, and Vietnamese are currently the languages that ShopPay actually uh, processes. So that's kind of cool in terms of flexibility. We love that a lot. And uh, ShopPay provides sophisticated fraud protection solutions for retailers by utilizing Stripe's payment gateway. And, and Shopify is simple uh, to add on, and it works well with Shopify's other e-commerce features. So let's talk about uh, the cons of using Shopify. So of course, no uh, no process, no no product is uh, perfect. So uh, when you think about Shopify, since Shopify is a Shopify product, it is not available for usage by online sellers or merchants using other e-commerce platforms. So if you listen to me right now, if you have a, a big commerce store or a WooCommerce store, a big cartel store, a Magento store, if you have any other type of stores, you're not going to uh, use a Shopee. And uh, Shopify store, Shopify stores are compatible with Shopee only. Hence, you will not be able to use it if you don't use Shopify payments to accept credit cards payments online okay so Shopify payments it, it's another uh, requirements here and uh, you will not be able to utilize Shopee if your store is not in one of the 22 accepted languages or 22 approved countries that that's what I, I gave you those the those uh, languages a little earlier right and uh, so if you if you if you if you want to go back and just uh, see the list uh, no problem and also, installment using ShopPay come with hefty cost. So ShopPay offers uh, monthly installments with uh, interest rates ranging from a 10 to 36% APR for orders between $150 and $17,000 and $500. 17500 So depending on the purchase price, the payment plan's duration can range from 3 to 12 months. So sometimes you really think about it, especially if you are if you're thinking about using uh, ShopPay for the long run. So if you want to really, uh, 
if you want to really have this as a as a permanent fixture in your uh, in your in your online uh, stores uh let's say checkout process then you have to really think about the, the cost first because otherwise you'll be really surprised at as to how much this will cost you in the end and you don't want to have uh, such a su such a large amount anyway let's talk about this, the strategy here so we are still talking about shop pay versus paypal versus google play a uh, google pay rather apple pay and after pay so i want to first talk to you about the factors to consider when choosing between shop pay versus uh, other payments so choosing the right payment method for your online business can be quite tricky in our view and so as a seller you you want to offer your customers convenience that's for sure you want to offer them security but more importantly you want to offer them affordability right so this is an important element to think about now how do you actually choose whether or not you're you're convenient you're secure or you're affordable well you want to look at shopper preferences and uh, market standards so shopper preferences are really important so so first thing first this choice will be greatly influenced by what payment options your ideal customers like and what your competitors are currently offering for instance let's assume that most of your customers like to use digital wallets instead of credit cards then you should provide that option too and also think about demographics so your audience demographics so put the demographics of your target audience in mind as, as well, along with uh, the payment methods that they tend to use. For example, uh, older customers may, may actually prefer more traditional payment methods like credit cards or bank transfers, while younger customers may actually favor digital wallets. And you also want to think about transaction costs. So every payment option has its own cost and fees, right? So you need to actually weigh the cost of each option against the benefits of higher conversion rates or happier customers. For example, credit cards are very convenient for your customers, but they also charge you more fees than other options. So if you accept Visa cards, you might have to pay between 1.5% and 2.4% of uh, each transaction to the credit card company. That can add up quickly. The bright side, however, credit cards can also boost your sales and make your customers happy especially if they are popular and widely used you also got to think about security and fraud prevention so you want to keep your online business and your customers safe from fraud right so uh, so basically uh, that's why you need a payment option that keeps your money and data safe so that's an important element to think about you also want to think about compatibility with uh, e-commerce platform so your online business should make sure that its payment options work with uh, the e-commerce platform it is operating on so additional integration work for some payment methods can be necessary yet this can be expensive and time consuming so uh, using a user-friendly payment gateway helps actually reduce internal stress related to the setup and upkeep of your payment infrastructure so let's talk about shop pay versus uh, other payment methods so uh, I want to first start with uh, Shop Pay versus PayPal. So PayPal is actually the well-known digital wallet service that transformed peer-to-peer -peer money transfers and virtual payments a long ago, right? So this this service is one of uh, Shop Pay's main competitors. It is a flexible third-party payment program that works with uh, multiple platforms and allows safe online transactions and money transfers. So when we talk about uh, Shopee versus PayPal, here are a few things you need to remember. So let's talk about availability. So Shopee, you got to install, uh, when you actually install, when you want to use Shopee, you need to actually install Shopify payments. And uh, Shopee is available in 23 nations. And uh, PayPal is, is accessible in over 200 nations. And uh, using Shopify payments is not a requirement for PayPal. What about the, the uh, transaction fees? Although there are no extra costs associated with enabling ShopPay, credit card transactions are subject to the same transaction fees as uh, Shopify payments. Also, there is a, a 5 to 6% cost for each transaction if you allow ShopPay installments. And PayPal, actually, uh, the, the, the transaction fees depend on the location, but normally they are usually 2.9% of the transaction fee. I mean, uh, 2.9% of the transaction amount plus a fixed fee of 30 cents. And so that's the amount in the US. 
So for a transaction made outside of the US, you have 4.4% of the total plus a set fee based on the currency. What about installment payment services? Yes. For both? Yes. So both have a, a BNPL service. And what about the procedure, the procedure for resolving disputes? The buyer and the merchant have a 15 calendar days from uh, the time of a dispute is initiated to exchange supporting documentation. That's uh, for ShopPay. For PayPal, it's 20 days. And in terms of payout for vendors, ShopPay, three days. And uh, PayPal, five to uh, seven business days. What about ShopPay versus Afterpay? Let's talk about that. So the difference is here, the supported payment methods, ShopPay you have credit, debit cards, Apple Pay and Google Pay. Afterpay you have credit, debit card, Apple Pay and Google Pay, so same thing. And uh, in terms of availability, ShopPay is only exclusive to Shopify retailers, while Afterpay is accessible on, on uh, specific e-commerce platforms and at participating stores. And uh, in terms of transaction fee, you can see that uh, ShopPay is a little more expensive, slightly, but uh, yeah. And uh, one thing I want to say here is that uh, in terms of uh, the payment timing, within two days with Afterpay, with ShopPay you have one to three business days. In terms of uh, the approval process, there's none for ShopPay. For Afterpay, credit check is required. In terms of data privacy, for ShopPay you have an encryption and PCI compliance. And Afterpay has a two-factor authentication and uh, as well as fraud analysis. And in terms of eligibility requirements, ShopPay has none, whereas Afterpay has a credit check and minimum age requirements, at least 18. So something to think about. Let's talk about ShopPay versus Apple Pay. So uh, Apple Pay uh, actually is a digital payment method that works with both iOS and uh, macOS devices. And the merchants can proceed straight to the order evaluation by avoiding the lengthy checkout forms. And uh, with Apple Pay, users may uh, bypass the drawn out checkout process and go directly to the order review, just like with uh, ShopPay. However, a crucial distinction between Apple Pay and uh, ShopPay is that Apple Pay allows you to easily validate your transaction using a touch ID, while ShopPay needs a code to validate your payment. And customers must scan their fingerprints after tapping the Apple Pay button in order in order for Apple Pay to give the details needed for the, the uh, transaction. And business owners should add credit card payment uh, providers to Shopify stores in order to enable Apple Pay payments. So you have a uh, Shopify payments, Authorize.net, CyberSource, Stripe, Braintree, and uh, First Data Pay uh, Pay Easy. Okay. So while ShopPay is limited to online transactions, Apple Pay facilitates payments both online and in person. Moreover, there are no costs associated with using Apple Pay in store, online or within applications, according to Apple. However, there are several restrictions when utilizing Apple Pay in place of ShopPay. So only select only a select few iOS and macOS devices support this payment option. So this is important to think about. Now I'm going to talk to you about ShopPay versus uh, Google Pay. Your customers can make uh, quick and safe payments using Google Pay. Customers are able to place their orders and go through uh, the checkout procedure with Google Pay. And uh, unlike uh, ShopPay, Google Pay is not exclusive to only Shopify payments or Shopify merchants for that matter. Google Pay actually works with many other online platforms as well. And many customers prefer Google Pay for its accessibility so to pay with google pay your customers simply tap that google pay button and confirm their payment with uh with, with a with a pin pattern or biometric just like apple pay for a shopify store there is a catch you need to set up shopify payments first before you can enable google pay as a method as a bonus google pay supports a variety of web browsers not only chrome so customers can use this payment method no matter what browser they prefer like safari edge opera it's not perfect though despite its inclusive network unlike shoppay google pay doesn't require any transaction fees or interest rates but it charges other fees that you would normally pay with your physical card so for instance if you use a credit card with google pay you may still have to pay interest and penalty fees if you do not pay your balance in full 
and on time. So this is something, something to really think about. So overall, for many online buyers, Shopify has swiftly gained popularity. It really functions well as an automated one-click checkout options option for Shopify online stores, improving consumer happiness and creating a favorable impression of your business. Yet, if you're not a fan of Shopify, there are plenty of additional Shopify payment methods, including PayPal, Afterpay, Apple Pay, and Google Pay. So whichever option you choose, keep in mind that the checkout process whether it takes place online or in person at your physical locations is the most crucial part of the customer's shopping journey. So it's really, really important to think about that. Now, be sure you have a method of payment that will enable you to get in front of more buyers with a high intent and raise the order values. So what are the closing remarks here? In today's conversation, I spoke to you about Shopify versus other payment methods. So I give you the comparison, the strategy, and now the closing remarks. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.